Syracuse lacrosse and Cornell lacrosse do battle once again after a year off boy field. Hello everyone and welcome to ESPN Plus where it is top the right side of things both coming off some heartbreaking losses. We're here for both of those games remember that 16-15 win for the Big Red at the JMA Wireless Dome and immediately a face-off violation against Mason Cohn will give one of the best transition and defensive long stick mids in the entire nation, Sam Alexa. And here comes this vaunted Syracuse offense. Inside the shot and the score immediately for Sam English. And Cornell is no stranger to Sam Comes English. Back to Haunt Princeton once again. And it was just Excuse good me, ball Hans movement Cornell. in the substitution <laughs> game there. Syracuse. As the second midfield comes out for Syracuse. Here's Joey Spolina. And a rip and a score from Owen Hiltz. The ball moves so fast for yeah, problem for Syracuse Cornell in the, the substitution offense. game. Didn't quite have the matchups all set. Cornell defense will number to stand for both sides. Christian Moulet to Lehigh transfer. All the way up top. Wants the rip from Owen Hiltz. It's a quick 3-0 lead for the Syracuse. Slow to come, but then two guys came, and then the pass was directly right in front of Rice on him. Decides not to take too much more advantage of the matchup. We'll get it right back. Slide needs to come quickly, and it does. Cursed will get it on Cage. You finally had an opportunity, and now here's an unsettled ch chance. Rice has Firth out, caught out on defense, and a charging ball. Well, just great attacker, transfer from Lehigh. Second straight attacker that has done well from Lehigh for Syracuse. Jackson Burke whistle will push a bound. We start in a 3-3, get the ball rotating. Stevens thought about it. Leo right on the doorstep. And Michael Leo puts it past Tully and just move it around the outside. Find that the base. Here we go. Looks through. Cornell defense just lost track of Tully on the day. Ten seconds. Hilt thought about it. Five seconds. Joey Spolina has hands free, and you can't give Joey Spolina hands the worst free. Start you could you could ever expect if you were Cornell. Syracuse is really come out and given and now the orange looking to even put on some more pressure Spolina gets to the hilts and it just pushes it walked up by Leo Leo Spolina got his yeah. defender hung here Singer is hung up against Spolina and the shot in front of Cajun it just on the board 6-0 Syracuse early on Ithaca. and it's just I, I don't know what happened here he just just a little turn, right? There was nothing with so much tempo right now, offensively and defensively. And, and transition, Syracuse has been absolutely excellent as well. However, English can't quite find it. Between the legs shot! That's a score for Billy Dwan! Look at this. The ball goes up in the air, and Dwan just Johnny's on the spot, was able to catch it. Again, the way there, they're just unable to get it through to him. Curse gets around his defender. CJ Curse clobbered on the way in. His defender. And Kirsch yeah. gets shoved to the ground. Flag flies. That's on Billy Dwan. That's going to be a push with possession. Only five seconds on the shot clock. Kirsch trying to move quickly. CJ Kirsch gets the bouncer and passed. Will Mar the game. It comes from the ever prolific CJ Kirsch. He knows he's not yeah, got he's much just... time here on the clock and just goes right to his strong left hand. Keeps coming. Gives himself that. Able 51 jersey that Jeff Teat made famous with the big red. And now Michael Long's got the short stick and huddle. He'll take him behind X. Michael Long on the short stick will score. Bleeding stops a little bit for Cornell, and at the end of the first game. quarter, he just takes he says, advantage of the matchup here, right? Gets it behind. He's able to come with his left hand. Almost a huge momentum swing both ways. And it makes, obviously, if a Cornell goal comes quickly, and it will as CJ Kerr on that shot attempt. It's now Sam Mason Cohn to win this face-off clearly for Syracuse yep. because he has no wing help. Yep. Here, 26 on the shot clock. They can wind this down again because of the non-releasable penalty. Cursed. Finds Long in the middle, and Michael Long makes it four. Nice patience there by Michael Ball Long. A little bit. With his right hand, no, left. he switches left and then goes to right. That change of hand then shoots. I think if you're Cornell, you're happy to get the two, and you think... Does this maybe just slow the tempo down of this game, which I think is what Cornell would like most ultimately? Joey oh, Spolina! <laughs> oh, Joey Spolina! He comes on, he comes on, and he just gets to this point. He waits, he waits, he waits, and then pulls it behind the... So, 
Alexo being hounded by Petrakis gets absolutely crushed Flag by down. Singer. And this will be a man-up opportunity coming for Syracuse, but it won't come because it's Mason Cohn on the fulls for Mason Cohn, who absolutely gets the orange bench Dude, fired Ryan, up. I thought that was a legal hit by Singer, but there was a flag down, and here it is, the face-off guy steps in, and he's able will be first. Into the middle for Finn Thompson. Can't get a shot off. There's only seven seconds on the shot clock. Five seconds. Oh, and Hiltz has to let one rip, and it's right into the stick of Matt Tuck. The unreleasable penalty on Singer. It's a 9-4 game as Hugh Keller for now in transition. Michael Long all the way to Aiden Blake. Ben Thompson's caught out on defense. Goldstein all the way up top. Brendan Stop. Brendan Stop. The bouncer. Brendan Stop has the long ball goal. To Cornell's liking. It's not that Cornell wants to play slow, but they don't want to necessarily be all. Teams only clearing 81.5% against Cornell this season. That's not a particularly high number for defenses. Owen Hiltz. Oh, Owen Hiltz, the fat for Syracuse. And that's one I think Matt Tully would like this lead down. They had it down to three. Now it's up to five again. Still plenty of time in this lacrosse game. Long. Found Willem Firth on a great save. And the short sticks matchups are what every team has tried to attack against Cornell. And now Jake Stevens will fast it off. A free shot for Luke Roa. And now it's an 11-5 yeah, lead. Of, uh, uh, not an, a great angle, but he's got so much space there. And it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what Cornell has right now, the Cornell students on spring break. Here's A.J. Nikolic. Nikolic went all alone to cage. A.J. Nik and yes, the goal does stand for A.J. Nikolic. Now the yeah. question is, Man what's up for Cornell, if I recall correctly? Now let's see. Now it's probably going to be a push from behind, which should be a break. English thought about ripping one, decided to back up. Spolina around GLE with one hand. That's always so dangerous. Spolina right into the middle. He found Finn Thompson. Wow, so that's quickly. a nice shot. Watch how Spolina comes back and just looks inside. Seriously. Really so. lay with the short stick. Luke Gilmartin. So one of the most prolific attackers. As Michael Leo will fire that shot low and Matt Tully. This goal might have gotten wiped out. I'm not sure exactly. Quarterback, that defense as the defensive coordinator this season. An opportunity to stop the bleeding here for Cornell. Two goal run for Syracuse so far. Michael Long of Will Mark. Here he gets rid of the ball. Sort of a little bit of action. Come right back to him and just blows it by. Now in his third season coaching the men of Syracuse after a very, very successful career with the ladies as their head tenure. Spencer Wertheim! Push run for Cornell. And here we go, back and ball forth. trick that fooled no one. Um, but he comes down, gets into a good spot on the field where he leaves. Silos back there out against Cone, and again, Cone wins it cleanly. And now, the Orange looking to move fast. They do, as Sam English will make it. Boy, we don't get much chance to breathe in here, and just at okay. very least, it's a 30-second man up. 30-second technical for interference. So the call was a 30-second technical for interference, and CJ Kirst board. It's 14-5. They start Extra with Kirst goal. top center. They get the ball moving around, and he just comes right through the middle. You know, it their own risky pass, and it somehow finds CJ Kirst. Now Cornell looking to move a transition. Michael Long. Well, pass it off. Here is Spencer Wertheim. And I tell you, I, you may, he's you able may to make the catch. He finds Michael Long, who just takes time, makes the defender have to make a decision to stop him with the ball to go here. It's going to have to be a quick hitter. Plenty of time, though, for Spolina. Gets a screen. Found Mule. That one was deflected on the way in. Went off either Gilmar. The short, excuse me, the long pole. Nope, they've actually changed. Excuse me. Wertheim had the short stick, and Spencer Wertheim, what a low save from Will Mark. Gets the double. Rower now has some space, but we'll pass it back off. Burke whistle. Here's Hills. Hills behind the back. Jackson Burke whistle. What a save from Nuss. A lot of them tonight. And here's the turnover. Man, a slip there. I believe it's Stevens. A slip there from Nikolic. Here's Jake Stevens. Jake Stevens. That was deflected on the way in. And look. Spolina has the singer matchup. Joey Spolina wearing the Fable 22. Joey Spolina. Lena 
a single one-on-one -on -one dodge against right, Jason Singer. Got what he wanted, comes with his left hand, uses the pick, gets to five and five. Just working yeah. hard to try and get open, but Cornell doing a good job communicating and switching. Spolina will go, slide from Gil Martin. Right there, though, is Luke Roa, who gets it past. Because of the slide, Roa takes advantage all alone. The patience, the patience, and, and they use the pick. They slip the pick, and he's able to just get the ball, come right around on the play to, to create the turnover. Huge draw from Mule. Behind the back pass to Mule. Right onto the crease for and Sam Ingram. Now Kirsch working against Dwan. Gets a screen. A little bit of space. Here's Andrew Dalton. Got around Rice, and that one just hit side netting. Again, here we go. And I was got to make these possessions count, and it will mark so that. Bill Martin, the Syracuse native playing against his hometown college team, and a good stop from Nuss, stopping Leo. Assist. Here's Kelleher. That's a slide. Figueres is going to get called for a flag. He doesn't like that call from the official. Long will score. That's four goals. For and you hope if you're Cornell that they call this a one-minute foul. Just an aggressive goal. dodge here by Kelleher. There's the flag. He throws it right back to Long, who steps in and just lets it full possession. Here we see Syracuse is locking off C.J. Kerr. So Cornell have the opportunity to go uh, a five-on-four type. And you see, oh. C.J. Kerr. C.J. Kerr. Wow, that's, I, I tell you, that to get so that kind to, of a goal to, like um, to back up the cage and just sort of, just got lazy for a second there and curse to see if they could get him a short stick matchup. Spolina is lurking here. Smith will stick with Berkwist. So Berkwist was looking for Mule, and that was a year. You don't see 11 cost turnovers from a normal attackman. But DJ Kirst is no normal attackman. Brian Goldstein and a huge stop. Started, came into the start of the second half with only five. Goldstein got around his defender. Ryan Goldstein! The fourth game for Ryan Goldstein. stayed patient with it. Took the first opportunity, pulls back, gets underneath the defender, switches hands. Looks like they're trying to go to Firth here. They did on the last possession. They try again here. Firth found Kelleher all alone. Why? Hugh Kelleher. This is the Cornell lacrosse, the team of runs. And this this is really the first time we've seen Kelleher get his hands free. Just the defense had sloughed all over to Firth. Double initially came from Kakemo. Kirst lost it, got it slightly tripped up. Found all the way up top to Ryan Sheehan and Will Marks saw it all the way. 10 seconds to shoot on the shot clock. Owen Hiltz is gonna have to let one rip. Owen Hiltz, and it's a low stop from one. Kirst, double came, Long on alone in the middle, still has the ball, and Michael Long had it forced out. And oh. still has the short stick. Can Cornell find Long on the short stick once again? He does. Willem Firth found Michael Long on the short stick match. Game in Ithaca. Firth is really he comes off a top center and he looks across the goal and he finds Michael. Firth I'm against Rice. Firth against Hoddle. Willem Firth got underneath and a great low stop. And then they're going to draw the short on the opposite side. Worth time against Worth time against Rice. Spencer Worth time. We'll get it up to Goldstein. Ryan Goldstein. Cursed. One minute left. Worth time. Bounce save by Mark. It. Spencer Worth time. Picks it back up. Gets it over to Firth. Twenty four seconds. All alone. Goldstein. Worth time. Wow, that was a ride that turnover just and a good opportunity there. A good move by Wertheim of looking down the field and Goldstein can't make it 18. Mark Silos picks it up. Will Coach Busek call time? Silos takes it. Mark Silos! Mark Silos scores! Cornell has taken its first The side here just and keeps going and no defender came to him. Puts it up. It is up long enough. Ball squirts pass. Picks up to Stevens. Five seconds. English running. English got past the defender and he got it under. Back at 1.1 1 .1 second. We're most likely. Finds his former Princeton teammate, English, and just Aiden Blake just didn't get the hit on him when he came. For the final shot here in double overtime. Spencer Wertheim gets around Hoddle, gets a screen. 
Worth time. All alone. CJ Curse. All alone. CJ Curse has. They went right to the cage. They like that matchup with Spencer Wertheim against the short stick. And he has just to come back and get this one today at Shokoff Field. Their second consecutive overtime win against Syracuse. Just a great gut for time to win this game for Cornell. Just, yeah, and thus was a real big, it was, um, it was 14 to 10 at the half in, in favor of Syracuse.